Hey everyone, welcome. I'm bringing you a channeled message for whoever needs to hear it. Um, not really zodiac specific, not date or time specific. If it speaks to you, if the title resonates, if the reading resonates, then it's your message. Um, I try to keep them around twin flame soulmate energies, but whatever comes through comes through. But before I get started, quick announcement, big special announcement. Um, I've been wanting to do something special to celebrate the one year anniversary of the launch of the channel, which was just about a month ago. And, um, and I gave it a lot of thought and I, you know, other than working on a course, which I am working on, so don't worry, that will be coming. Uh, I wanted to do something like to pay it forward to, to pay back to those of you who have supported the channel for so long and who have made it possible for me to do this work full time that I feel I was born to do. It's my purpose and um, it's what I love and it's my passion. And now it helps me sustain my life. And I want to find a way to pay it, pay it back, you know? So what I decided to do was upon several requests for a subscription model, I worked with Selfie, the platform that I use because I don't use Vimeo uh, and I don't want to use Patreon, is we figured out, out a way that I could create a subscription service. So in other words, when it's a subscription model, you pay monthly and it's an automatic payment. So you don't have to keep per, you know, pressing links. You, you, you opt in for the subscription one time and then it's a monthly subscription rate. And that rate is locked in. So for as long as you maintain the subscription, you're free to cancel at any time, but as long as you maintain the subscription and the payments go through, you're good. You're locked in, okay? So here's the exciting part. I wanted to do something where I could sort of make life easier for those of you who might be interested in that and those of you who have been very big purchasers of extendeds. And so for the next 11 days from September 1st to September 11th, which is my birthday, all four subscriptions will be offered at $11. You heard that right. For as long as you're a monthly subscriber, it will never go above $11. The way we had to set it up though was by element. So fire signs, earth signs, air signs, water signs. So let's say that you are um, a Pisces and I've been doing the Pisces readings and it seems for many Pisces, it's two water signs. Well, you'll get all the readings for like Pisces and Cancer or Pisces and Scorpio. You'll get all the readings each month for $11. I know every month that you maintain that subscription. So, uh, and even if you have like the Virgo Leo thing, right? And then you get the fire sign and you get the earth sign, you're paying 22 for the month, but that's still, it would have been 44. So you're still getting, you know, four for the price of two, if that makes sense. I'm just, it's all basically half off, buy one, get one kind of a situation. So um, the links to that will be below starting on September 1st. Uh, you'll always have the individual link for one-off purchases, that's fine. And then the links will say uh, for monthly subscriptions, click here and you click on the element, okay? And then of course you can cancel any time and you don't need to purchase th anything anymore. Um, and it's all done automatic subscription. And each time I upload a new reading, you, it will be updated in your, in your subscription plan so you'll see it come in and the old one will go away so it's sort of like a round robin um i'll explain it in more detail <laughs> at another time i don't want to keep going i wanted to keep the announcement short but i hope you find that exciting i've really been looking forward to bringing you something to celebrate the year and to um you know sort of say thank you it's a, just my way of saying thank you and making it easier for all of you who have been enjoying the um, extendeds. Okay? All right. So I'm pulling three cards from the Sacred Traveler to start off our whoever needs to hear this message. Let's see what energies want to come through for this part of your journey. I love these cards. All right answering the call the time is now feels like judgment navigating by the stars follow your bliss 
And one more. Begin now. Take the first step. So answering the call and begin now, um, the time is now, take your first step. Seems like a really big message for someone here. Um, it feels like it's about something. It could even be a spiritually based business or some kind of um, um, some work that you're feeling called to, like that you feel might be your sole purpose. And in the middle, it says navigating by the stars. So follow your bliss. What brings you joy? I mean, I, this could also be like a message to me from a year ago. This is exactly the energies that were coming through. And I answered the call and I just took that first step as nervous and fearful and terrified as I was. And I followed my bliss and navigated by the cosmos using tarot and astrology and everything I've learned over the years. So that's what I feel I'm seeing here is, um, but if, if, if we were looking at the relationship, um, this definitely feels like judgment, the judgment card, answering the call of the connection, the time is now, and navigating, following what really brings you bliss, um, and taking that first step, no hesitation. Really lovely, lovely energy. Okay, that's exciting. So let's take a look at what messages want to come through this is a channeled message for whoever needs to hear it and by the way it was another another tarot reader who said a similar message um i feel that person was using a, a different deck could have been this deck and looked dead to camera and said someone out there needs to start a tarot channel and i went like <laughs> Me, because it was ro roaming around in the back of my mind, and that was just the moment. And it was just a channeled message that this reader delivered. And I answered the call, and I took the first step literally like two or three days later. So that's why I love doing these readings, because you never know who will be inspired. Whatever is the call you're answering, the time is to begin is now. The world needs whatever it is you have to offer. Okay, so let me stop messing around now. All right, one last shuffle, please. I've been seeing that two of cups on the bottom. Situation, wow. 10 of cups, this is your bliss. This is the bliss, this is the nirvana. The happily ever after what's crossing it the chariot wow moving forward this is a success card i will clarify uh, the clarifiers will help me see if that chariot is moving or if it's stuck wow 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 so i want to look at the energy of yeah underneath here um This, this, this rep usually represents the subconscious realm, something that um, you kind of, you, you want it to materialize, but you're not really conscious of it. I didn't know how to fra phrase that. But on some level, it feels as if you know you, it's time to focus. It's time to um, buckle down and give this energy your uh, devoted, sustained attention and effort. Eight of Pentacles. So to me, that's like underneath as if to say, it's not really a goal, but you're aware that it's needed on some unconscious level. Yes. But here's what you're trying to manifest is that first step. That take the first step. Page of Pentacles. Pages, um, the Page of Pentacles in this case to me, since it's in the position of your, your conscious, you know, what you are tr consciously trying to create for yourself um, or manifest. And here it is, a Page of Pentacles. It's just a new beginning, a fresh start. Something stable that you can count on, all right? But it's not like the Ace. So in order to get to this Ten of Cups, which is what the situation is about, we got to start somewhere. And I think on some unconscious level, you're ready to buckle down and focus on one pentacle at a time. 
um, to find your way to taking that first step. In the past, wow, the fool, a leap of faith, readiness to um, take a new path. That is a little bit of answering the call too. Um, it's also following your bliss. This, this fool begins the journey with one leap, with one step. Take your first step. I love that. And look what you've got coming in the future. Ace of Wands. Wow. Brand new gift of passion or reigniting the torch of passion. We have to start somewhere, though. We have to start small. The Page of Pentacles here may be a baby step issue, like you're, um, you're consciously trying to create a situation where you just take that, the two of you take that first step. So amazing. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Ten of Cups, and I'm moving the cards around. I know that drives some of you crazy, but just so I have room. Ten of Cups, please. That is total emotional fulfillment, contentment, the joy and bliss that comes with a complete sense of love. It is a wish granted. Star, Aquarian energy on the star. We have more Aquarius in the Fool. So for some of you, you may be an Aquarian or you may be dealing with an Aquarius. This is Cancerian energy in the chariot, which is crossing. So we've got the um, Ten of Cups with the star and the Hierophant. Wow, commitment. Wow, wow, wow. A wish granted. Look at that. Taurus in the Hierophant. Ten of Cups star and uh, the Hierophant getting a wish granted for love and commitment and undeniable love, complete contentment on an emotional level. That is so amazing. The chariot, now the chariot crosses the 10. So we wanna look at what that energy is. It usually represents a challenge All right, King of Pentacles. So there may be some stubbornness. Yes, okay. And Eight of Wands. So I'm feeling the King of Pentacles just as an energy. Obviously, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn are the uh, signs around the Pentacles, but it feels more like it's about the energy of um, the masculine archetype of life partner. Someone who's, you know, in it, in it, for the long haul, dependable, reliable, has your back. Uh, it's in the here and now because it's pentacles. And I feel as if the challenge is getting this king of pentacles to move forward. Um, king of pentacles can sometimes be stubborn. You know, just kind of uh, set in their ways. And then we get the communication. So I feel there may be a block around communication. There may be some difficulty. Yes, because of past hurts. Three of swords underneath. So there's been some past hurts um, or heartache or loss or sadness in the past. This Probably this uh, King of Pentacles um, was hurt in the past and is therefore not willing to move forward with this commitment. That's the block. So that's why we've got this Eight of Pentacles in the realm of the subconscious. A desire to focus, uh, come up with a creative solution to any problems here. Focusing on just this issue alone to the exclusion of everything else. Sustained attention, effort, energy, yes. And there's that fool that comes that was in the past. So, you know, focusing on uh, the leap of faith. Focusing on working on um, risk assessment. 
you know, the fool is often about taking a leap and assessing the risks, um, making sure that you, you know, you've kind of taken a look at everything, but being optimistic. This fool has the, their face to the sun. It's almost as if, yes, it's a grand adventure and there is inherent risk anytime we venture into the unknown, um, but there's a positive outlook. So it feels to me like that's part of what is coming up in the unconscious realm here. Yes, a little message of love, maybe apology, but I'm not, I'm, I'm just feeling like a message of love of um, this is, um, compassion and uh, it's a sweet energy the page of cups is basically saying i adore you you know i'm coming from my heart here's a message from my heart and it feels as if whoever i'm is this message is intended for on some level knows that that's what they have to focus on is is helping this king of pentacles feel safe and in, in in taking that leap and encouraging them and having compassion and sending messages that sort of support their emotional side because we've, we're dealing with the three of swords. Even though swords is air and the realm of thought, it's the way this person is thinking about potentially getting hurt. Yep. In the past, we have the fool again, leap of faith. Um, Choosing that path, answering that call, going all in. And it was a big no. I feel as if, um, yes, okay. So in the past, we have the fool, uh, and I just feel it didn't get off the ground. The call was not answered. This um, Ten of Swords is often the end of a painful cycle, but I almost feel like the cycle didn't really even begin, okay? The Fool was on offer, the let's risk it all for love, and it was a, a hard no. I feel it brought about some ill will here. Transformation is the next card out. Energy of Scorpio. Um, so definitely the Death card with the Ten of Swords, it feels like this was a painful fallout. And um, while one, one of you was ready to take the leap, the other was not at all willing. And it was a complete rejection. And that led to sort of the death of the energy around the Fool. Um, I'm not saying a full out rejection, but it just feels like a, a, a definite setback and a lot of disappointment and a return to being single, yeah, underneath um, the nine. Transformation for whoever is the nine of pentacles, a single person, usually a female, a, a woman, a feminine energy doesn't have to be, but it represents a single person. And I just feel like, um, I, because I'm looking at the situation of a wish granted around the 10 of cups and the um, hierophant, the commitment, you know, could be marriage, could be anything. Um, it was, it just went south real fast. Uh, it was a hard pass and that's, that led to this, whoever I'm reading for continuing on a, a solitary path, you know, doing okay for themselves, but I feel like the death card, it represents more of the ending of something. But look where we, where we're going. We have a new beginning here with that ace of wands. So... Whoever I'm speaking to, you're now, your conscious goal is I just want to take one step at a time. Baby steps with this page of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yes. It has been a challenging road, um, a heavy burden, and it's almost as if I'm feeling someone who's saying, you know, let's lay down the, the, the heaviness, the weight of all of this, and just start small. It sort of lightens the whole energy. Um, if we take baby steps, then we don't have to carry this. It's weighing heavily on both of us, um, or at least whoever I'm reading for, and maybe the answer is to just take one little step at a time. Take your first step. Can't even believe how those cards came out. 
Yes. Right? End of a burdensome chapter. Moving toward our happiness and bliss. Uh, follow your bliss. I love it. The sun, Leo energy there. Um, for some of you, that will be important. Possibly that Ten of Wands can also be about offloading some negative karma that may be around the Three of Swords. So I'll just say that. All right, let me move this around a little so you guys can still see. Um, okay, and now in the future, we've got the Ace of Wands, a new, inspired, passionate beginning. It's powerful. Exciting. Wow. Ace of Wands meets the devil. Three of Wands. And underneath the King of Cups. Okay. Well, I kind of feel as if the devil, which is Capricorn here, shows up um, to sort of challenge this Ace of Wands. What you're trying to manifest, the ship's coming in, you want it to be this Ace, but there's something that hasn't been resolved. Sorry for the blurriness. There. There's something that hasn't been sorted through yet, right? That, that death energy here, something has to die off or something new to come in. Well, this is the something new, but there's some residual karma attached to it. Remember how I said that I think this Ten of Wands is about offloading some negative karma so that the happiness can, can be enjoyed a little bit at a time. So, you know, we'll start small, we'll take it one step at a time. What we're looking at is a situation of possible marriage, a committed connection, and that it would be a wish granted. And I feel like the, the King of Pentacles pumped the brakes here. That chariot could not move forward. And there's been an, a desire where there's challenging communication around something that um, could, be, could have been third party energy, but something that got in the way and caused some heartache here, that three of swords, the 10 of swords, and now the devil. So I almost feel as if you've, you know, what's coming toward you here, what, what the ship's coming in would be this ace of wands, but it's not going to go smoothly unless and until you can work through whatever the toxic karmic energy is, whatever that is for you. For some people, it can be um, repeating old patterns of the past. For some people, it can be um, um, like something is, um, oh, what's, it's like uh, seductive, right? It's like, it's, it's a lure. It pulls on you so hard. You almost can't look away. You can't deny it. And sometimes this ace of wands, which is fire with this devil can be almost like, um, that inspired passion that is something that isn't healthy, isn't healthy. So you definitely want to be careful with the Ace of Wands. Um, take the inspired action you need to take with regard to resolving any toxicity, whether it's old patterns, whether it's a toxic energy, a third person, because we do see some of that showing up here or um, whether it's, um, for some, it can be addiction. It could be an addictive or obsessive personality. It can be additional stubbornness because we've got the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got the devil, also stubborn, relentless. Um, so that could be it. Three of Wands is a card of manifestation and ships coming in. What you want to come in is this King of Cups, somebody who's open and emotionally available. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. High vibration, love, and emotional availability. And I feel what, you, what has to be guarded for and dealt with first is that devil energy. Okay? All right. So I love the way these cards came out. I feel as if the Oracle cards, the... Um, 
the uh what is it the sacred traveler cards really spoke to the energy overall energy of the reading i am going to take this to the extended the link to that is below and i will be pulling a card for you that's an advice a card of advice from you know your higher self your spiritual team um or the universe uh, the next card is external influences what may be impacting the situation that's beyond your control your hopes and or your fears and then the outcome okay and if we aren't crazy about the outcome card i'll do i'll pull three additional cards to see what if anything we could do to change that outcome so if this story is speaking to you the link to the extended is below and please don't forget to keep your eye out for the links to the subscriptions that are going to launch tomorrow if you've already purchased an uh an extended from me at any point in time you're going to get an email about it from self -I, but it will say awakened priestess monthly subscription so keep an eye out for that as well okay thanks so much stay well if i'm going to see you on the extended i'll be there in a second otherwise um hope to see you on a future reading bye